Tucked to his feet. Very nice. Beautiful hook. Wow. He actually got the take now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Well, these numbers are unofficial, but they are strong. 43 total strikes have already landed for Jan Guajovic. Oh, misses with the jab. Punch over the top. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have the Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he hurt him. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big punch position. Watch him start to hang. Try to gas his opponent out by hanging on his head. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Fighters throwing heat now. Stop there, he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Oh, dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, strike attempt to the midsection, it's blocked. Oh, oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's in trouble, he's getting lit up. Oh, big hook, that'll sting. His head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw him, Fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent only saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 34 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, John Lawrence. So the 
celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out.